Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So today's video we are going to be talking about incursions and more importantly mostly about incursion rewards. So whilst first and foremost I want you to take away this. I do not want to comment on the incursions game mode uh, from the player experience because it's awesome. The video is going to be about the rewards that you can earn. The incursions uh, when it comes to be them being fun, interesting, fresh in uh, and just exciting, they nailed it. The game mode is beautiful, the game mode is fantastic, it offers you a good time, you can hang out with uh, your friends. The biggest downside, if I have to mention, of the actual kind of like gameplay and you as a player going through step by step is the endless amount of pop-up screens. I definitely noticed that uh, incursions take quite a bit longer than dungeons used to and it is like 90% because Every single time you tap on a screen, you're forced to make a choice. There is a pop-up screen that has to load. Then you have to process information, decide what to do, and it's cool. But at the same time, all of that customization and all of those options come with the sacrifice of your time. And even if you're trying to rush through it, it still will take quite significantly longer than dungeons used to for same amount of rooms, just because of the amount of uh, pop-up screens that you have to go through. But that is annoying because incursions are quite time consuming and it's something you will want to play frequently but it's not the deal breaker right the game mode is still fun and the game mode is cool and now if we're talking about the rewards first things first i want to note out that the amount of gold you can earn in incursions is good it's a very healthy influx of gold that people who are struggling struggling with gold will benefit from highly and when we are looking at gold and gold alone that is a worthwhile investment of your time for this amount of gold however when it comes to valuing anything and everything else in incursion the rewards just are not there and they suck i'm sorry uh, yes having some five star shards is always a good thing but uh, when you compare the actual amount of rewards that you get per month you don't get all that much there but you do spend a lot of time in there so to reach room 10 in either of the sector 7 and sector 6 will take you at least probably hour to hour and a half so let's say if you do all the rooms uh, till uh, here till basically room 10 i'm confused by the name if you do all the zones till zone 10 it's going to take you about three hours in between sector six and seven if you want to do both of them so that is three hours every five days and that is a really long amount of time that is the same amount of time that would for instance take somebody to casually go through on collected mode right three hours right except you have to do this five times so imagine in your time these rewards would equate to a time investment six times as big as clearing uncollected so effectively to earn this amount of rewards it is the same thing as clearing uncollected quests six times per month and that is a whole lot of playing not to mention that rooms seven eight nine ten in these incursions a lot harder than pretty much anything that uncollected throws at you so you actually not only have to mindlessly grind through it but you actually have to work and play and uh, focus yourself for that amount of time and that is six times again as much as it would be for you doing uncollected and gold is wonderful you can effectively get well over a million or two million and a half or something gold a month from incursions by completing the milestones every five days and that is a healthy amount but when it comes to everything else added together uh you basically get uh 6500 five star shards maybe you can get to room 14 in that case you would get uh, 8500 five star shards so it's still just under a five star crystal right per month and a month for a five star crystal if you are somebody who can get to room 10 it's probably not the biggest deal it's nice it's neat but it's definitely not the kind of like incentivizing push that uh, you would need to actually go hardcore invested and try and push forward and uh, additionally the artifacts obviously the artifacts also can be translated to five star shards with a value of kind of like half because 20,000 i think or 22,000 artifacts effectively can be exchanged for a five star hero crystal so basically 
you can get a couple more five stars based on artifacts. So that is kind of helpful, but still, it's extremely one-dimensional and not all that rewarding. Again, to put in perspective, if you were to explore, uh, let's just quickly jump in, then collected, six times, then collected, you would get like a full-on TFI basic, you would get 15,000 six-star shards, you would get, uh, what, 50,000 five-star shards, it's far more superior amount of materials, no, no matter the way you dice it for same amount of time commitment. So let's jump in there. Let's see what are the uncollected rewards. So we have the rewards uncollected. So it would be 9,000 tier two, tier, I think it's 12,000 uh, tier two alpha fragments. So multiply that times six, it would be 72,000 tier two alpha, so two full tier two alphas. I think it's 9,000 tier five B fragments, multiply that times six, uh, you get how much is nine times six? 54,000 TFIBs so over a TFIB. You get something like, I forgot, I, I don't remember exactly how many five star shots you get. I know you get 2,500 six star shots. You get 15,000 six star shot crystals and a whole lot of other goodies as well. And yeah, okay, gold wise, for instance, these do not compare. But again, remember that doing the incursions to room 10 same as clearing uncollected and effectively you are committing yourself to doing uncollected six times a month and for doing six uncollected you only get some gold and some five star shards no rank of materials no tfib no tf5cc no tier 2 alpha no tier 4 basics no six star shards no nothing uh, so for many people yes it can be answered to your gold but still at the same time it's by far the least worthwhile game mode available to you if you're struggling with gold, you're still probably better off grinding the arena because then at least you get the units, then you can access some six star shards, you can get the battle chips, which, which can lead you to getting more units, right? And it's certainly much, much, much easier to do. Obviously, if you are kind of like, I don't know, perfectionist, you can try and go and do it all. But at the same point, no, incursions did not sort out the problem that dungeons had. Because dungeons also were fun. Dungeons also had some cool things. But the biggest downfall of dungeons was the fact that it was just absolutely not worth doing them uh, for the rewards. For me, yes, incursions will be cool. I'm still going to enjoy the game mode. I'm still going to play. But the only reason why I'm going to play it is because I have a YouTube channel and it makes for cool live streams. And possibly I can record some cool fights and it's going to be interesting. So I will play the incursions, but not 100% for the rewards. And I played dungeons for the exact same reason. And they did completely miss the mark, in my opinion, when it comes to making incursions like a regular part of a player's kind of like daytime. Yes, it will give you the gold. But for those of you, if you're not particularly struggling, struggling with gold, you will be doing yourself a major disservice in westing that much time in incursions that you could be doing by grinding arena or clearing the quests because they are far more valuable okay again to prove the point we can uh check the rewards here that is a monthly this event quest thing which are very short quests and if we go to the crystal shard bit alone you already here get thousands he star hero crystal shards 11 000. five star hero crystal shards uh Five star awakening gems, five thousand more hero crystal shards. And this is a very, very quick quest to do, for instance. And this is for every two weeks. So effectively, you can double it, or you can do uh, double cross, and you can get all of the stuff from the catalyst sign. And you can get so many good items. And it takes so much less time. It takes, uh, I don't know, what, 15 minutes, 20 minutes to do every single difficulty every week so you'd spend like an hour which would be less than one room 10 push of either sectors so no uh for me personally i get that people are excited and i'm excited for the gameplay bit as well that's cool i get that there are people who are desperately struggling with gold and this will help them sort their gold problem but Outside of those two groups, or outside of those two arguments, there is literally nothing worthwhile in incursions. The five-star shots for me, again, I, at the risk of sounding 
quote-unquote country clubbish or elitish or whatever, I am not that interested in five stars anymore. Uh, not that interested in my five star crystal openings anymore. Uh, I get that I am privileged to have a big roster, but I'm looking at six stars, and I imagine quite a large number of people as well are starting and willing to prioritize the six stars. And this game mode offers absolutely nothing there. Additionally, I mean, still consistently looking at stuff like units, stuff like, I don't know, energy refills, just generic item, who, items who have value, and incursions offers none of it. And even, obviously, incursions also offer none of the rank of materials, which is also a huge bummer. So, as nice and cool and interesting and fun and unique as the game mode incursions can be, I think it is still absolutely failed by the rewards department and is literally only good for killing time or creating content or recording some fun things. It's not good for progressing your account outside of providing you with gold if that is the area that you're struggling in. And that is my very, very firm belief that nobody should be playing or grinding incursions consistently if they are trying to do the thing that's best for their account. The gold thing is only thing whatsoever that incursions got going for them. Ability to grind out under a 5 star crystal a month plus maybe a couple of 5 star crystals from artifacts is nothing much, especially not in the times when Act 6 is released, so on and so forth. So yes, maybe for progressing players it's a decent place to go, but if you're progressing players who, who is desperate for new 5 stars, you're also going to find incursions much more tricky and much more difficult. For instance, if you are barely uncollected and you have maybe one or two rank four or five stars, then you're not probably even going to be able to consistently get to room 10, so you're going to end up getting even less rewards there. So, I don't know, I still think that uh, incursions are huge missed and wasted opportunity. My personal dream always has been that incursions uh, or dungeons as they used to be can potentially serve as an alternative to arena, as a way to acquire units, as a way to acquire champions, where effectively you can maybe shorten the amount of time and grind that's necessary to acquire these new champions if you are playing well, or if you're unable to play well, then arena would be kind of like your preferred choice of uh, time investment. But currently there is not even a competition. If you have a lot of time to kill, go grind arena, go get those units, go get those 5 star shards, still spend a lot less effort and you're still gonna end up with battle chips and with whatever else is needed for you, 6 star crystal shards or whatever. So yeah, unfortunately, in my personal opinion, as great of a game mode incursions are, I cannot possibly recommend anyone outside of a source of gold to go and invest their time. And I just wanted to put that out there because I have seen pretty much everybody be super nice about incursions, how fantastic they are, and also how good the rewards are. Yes, incursions are nice, I completely agree, 100%, I will not argue. But the rewards are quite, uh, what would be a good expression, I don't know, seem to come from 2018? I don't know, they're, they're just bad, in my humble opinion. Anyways, uh, maybe you love them, if you do, then uh, do leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know why. I personally am still extremely disappointed with the incursion rewards. I like the game mode, hate the rewards. And for me personally, there is pretty much nothing that I'm really interested in. Uh, I'll still play them, obviously. Yes, YouTube and things, but hey. So yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. See ya.